Okay, so um, we have finished working on this. Uh, we have um, our page here. And I forgot to show you how to um, turn this off. So you could just do that by saying Command and C for cancel. So that um, terminates your server. So if you reset this page, you can see it's gone. And you could put it back again, uh, Rails S for server, and that would um, build the server for us again, and we are back in business. So that's how you can turn the servers on and off. So if we go into our workbench, uh, click on the plus sign, and double click on add diagram. So this is where we are going to um, visualize what our tables will look like. So this is our system here. We have um, logging in, which means we need administrators or moderators. We have all these other pages. We need to save this in the database somewhere, which means we need tables. So we're going to use Workbench to design um, our tables. So click here and double click on table. And we're going to call this moderators. So tables are always going to be in plural. ID, the fields are here, full name. Double click here and put a username. Okay, and password. All right, so that's moderator's table. That's what it's going to look like. So we are, you can click here to close this, but we don't have to. Double click um, table and change the name to posts. And here it has an ID and we'll put all the, all the fields here. So we have title and we have um, content. We also have uh, publish, so we could decide when to um, show this post to people and when not to. So we have another table here. We'll call this, um, this will be comments. Give it an ID. We'll give it um, the message and give it a status so we could um, decide if the comment has been approved or not. And here we have another table. Oh, these are the tags. Tag has an ID. Tag also has a name. And I think that's it for tags. Another table that we need um, will be visitors. So these are people that come onto the blog and leave comments. So we need the, the full name of the visitor. We also want to get the email address of the visitor. And we want um, a status, so we could decide if the visitor is approved or not. I'm not so sure about the status. Um, I think I'll get rid of this for now. And in the future, we could add that if we need to. And um, we need to add more tables. Another table that we, we need, um, messages. So a message needs um, an ID and it's a content, the actual message. Um, I think that's, that's all we need for that. Do we need other tables? Um, yes, we need a um, notification table. The notification is a slightly different one. So it has um, very strange fields, which I will explain when we come to building it. Because notification um, is used by messages and visitors. And so we need to have notifiable um, ID. So this is the ID of a visitor or a comment. Then we have notifiable type, which would be um, a comment or a visitor. But we'll come to this um, later. So that's um, these are the tables we are going to need for our blog to work. So now let's um, build the relationships between these tables. That's the whole purpose of a workbench, just to visualize how the tables relate to one another. So a moderator has many posts. So I'm going to click on this, click on post first, and then click on moderator second. So this draws um, a relationship of one to many. 
So here we have a moderator's ID, which is a foreign key. It basically says that this moderator ID owns the post. Okay, so we need to draw a relationship between our posts and our comments. So one post can have many comments. So we click here, we click on comments first, and we click on posts. So that's what we have. So a moderator has many posts, and each post has many comments. Okay, um, actually I forgot um, a table we need, um, settings. So this holds all the default um, settings for the for the blog. So it has uh, the site name is there. It um, determines how many posts per page and um, under maintenance to turn off the blog when we don't want people to, to use it anymore and some other useful settings. Um, the settings table is strange um, because it doesn't have any relationship to other tables really so it's just going to be um, a table on its own. It's not the best of designs but it's just, it's just one of an example to show that a table can um, exist without relating to other tables. So this is a settings um, field here. So it's not owned by anybody and it doesn't own um, any other tables. So I'm just going to leave it um, leave it up here. All right, so let's, um, let's see how messages uh, relate to, sorry, how um, notifications relate to things. So I'll bring a visitor down here. All right, so we're going to draw a relationship between a visitor and comments. So a visitor owns many comments, okay? So we're going to click on comments and click on notification. Um, the other way around, sorry, notification and comment. So uh, a comment has many notifications. So every time we create a new comment, it shows up. And a visitor has many notifications. So a notification in this case is just basically a way of telling the administrator that a new visitor has been created or a new comment has been created. So that's that's what that's there for. Um, and messages uh, is owned by visitor. So a visitor can have many messages. So that's that's there. Well, tags tags are slightly. A strange one because we want a post to have many tags but we want the same tags to belong to many posts so for that we need a bridge table uh, that table we are going to call this posts tags so it's a table that holds the relationships of who owns what so I'm just going to um, draw a relationship between these posts and post tags. So click here and click here and here. So a post has many post tags and the same a tag has many post tags too. We'll revisit this and we'll see why we had to do this. So in other situations a post has many comments. The comments cannot belong to any other post but that post. But in this case we have a tag which um can belong to many posts. Okay, so um, this is what our relationship table looks like. We are going to reference this throughout our development um, phase. So this is where we end this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.